Fun fact about Israel, the modern state of Israel has brought back and preserved the ancient names both of people and places all around this land. Shalom, my friends. This is the Kiva Gersh with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in 5 minutes. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. It's an incredible thing. You can drive around the modern state of Israel and past towns and regions and areas and see the ancient names of this place come alive. From again, the names of villages to the names of cities, the names that you see all over the map of modern day Israel and on the street signs are found in the Hebrew Bible, are found in the Tanakh, the ancient Bible. It's an incredible thing. The first prime minister of the state of Israel, David Ben-Gurion, had a vision. He had many visions. He had many dreams and goals of, of this country. But from the get-go, when they started settling and building and creating Jewish life once again in this land, he was very, very determined to use the names that were found in the Hebrew Bible. Even though he himself was considered secular, he was a biblical scholar. He actually held uh, Bible study sessions in his prime minister office very, very often with top rabbis and professors. He was very, very learned in the, in the Hebrew Bible. And he felt that it was very, very important that if we're coming back to this land, we should use the names that were once here before. Again, both of the villages and the cities and the regions, the Golan Heights, that name appears in, in the Bible. Places like Lachish and Elazar and Afrat, all found in the Bible. It's an incredible thing to see. In fact, David ben Gurion's name itself is an example of this. He was uh, born David Green in Poland, Russia. And when he came to the land of Israel for the first time in 1906, he said enough of this name that is not connected to this land. And he chose a name from the pages of Jewish history going back 2000 years ago to a, a military leader named Ben Gurion who led uh, the fight against the Romans for the Jewish people. It's an incredible idea. And you see this also in the names of the people living here. Every year in Israel, they, they, they come out with a thing. They say, this is the most popular names uh, here in the modern state of Israel for this year. And all the time, you're finding biblical names. Uh, the name is David, right? Like King David. Uh, Noah, uh, one of my daughters, actually, is, that's a name found in the, in the five books of Moses, right? Uh, all, Yonatan, all the time, right? David, uh, King David's best friend, Yonatan, all the time is, uh, appears on this list. And you walk around Israel, you travel around, and you, you hear people calling uh, the names of these children, and they are the names of the Bible, even though modern-day Israelis, especially more in the secular community, have become very creative with beautiful names in Hebrew, like Keshet, which means rainbow, and Tzliel, which means sound, all kinds of beautiful names. There still is this very deep connection to the ancient names of the ancient people of Israel who lived in this land and bringing these names back. And really, you can spend a day, many days, driving around this land, um, walking amongst these people. And the names you see and the names you read and the names you hear are the ancient names of this people, right? Just another great and strong example of the very deep and long-lasting connection that the Jewish people have with this land, right? Uh, a people that remembers the names of places they used to live and names that they used to use, uh, that they used to use to call their children. They remember that. They remember where they belong in this world. They remember their home. They remember their place. And for the Jewish people, that is the land of Israel.